Hey everyone and welcome back. We're going to be talking about a big topic and that is typography. Now where do I even begin? There are so many different things to talk about but what I want to do is I want to start right at the basics. So let's talk about the different categories of type. Now the first category is something we're all familiar with and that is serif typefaces. Now the first word that comes to mind when I'm thinking about serif typefaces is traditional. Now the little curls at the end of the letter forms are called serifs. Now these are these little little curls, you'll see them on the edge of the S, you'll see them at the bottom of the R, even on the top of the R, you get the point. Now serifs are generally used in body copy and they embody a more traditional feel. Some even say elegant, it really depends on the typeface. Now even though they have their standard applications, we usually can bend the rules if it needs to suit our need. And you'll see that later on in these lessons. Now you may be thinking, Daniel, there are so many different types of serifs and some look so different from each other. And you know, you're definitely right. Serifs are categorized into four categories. So let's jump right in. So that first category or that first subtype is called old style. Now, old style serifs, these are generally referred to as humanist or, you know, the oldest typefaces in the classification. And this will date back all the way to the mid 1400s. Now typefaces in this category include Jensen, Centaur, and Gaudi. Now we're using Gaudi over here. It's a really nice typeface. The next subtype is transitional. This is a transitional typeface. What we're using here is Times New Roman. Now, Times New Roman, Baskerville. Now, those are both transitional serif fonts. And one thing you'll notice is the difference between thick and thin lines over here, these strokes. They're a bit more pronounced here if we're going to compare this to, like, say, something like old style. You know, we start seeing a little bit more contrast between those strokes when in comparison, but not as much as modern or Didone. And that is our next subtype. So Didone or modern. And this includes typefaces like Dido, Bodoni. Right here we have Dido. And you can tell that these strokes are very, very contrasting. They're much more pronounced. You'll see them right here in the, the counters in the O, like in the inside of the E over here, that thick to thin. Up here in the N, you'll see the, the difference between the strokes on the uh, the left side of the M and the uh, the far side of the M. So you'll see much more contrast with these types of uh, typefaces. And lastly, we have slab serif. Now slab serifs, they have little to no contrast between thick and thin lines. You also notice that at the end, their serifs are much more rectangular or boxy. And Typefaces in this category, you know, they include typefaces like Archer. We're using Courier over here. And that's going to be it for serif typefaces.